guys and welcome to the 504. I'm Sheba Turk and what a beautiful night it is. It's our first hot mess night of 2018, which means Stevie G and Teapot, the Yay! artist formerly known as the Afternoon Swirl. That's who we are, the artist formerly known as the Afternoon Swirl. Hello, and, Sheba. And Kay Obiaco of yes, Gashiki Diaries, which is yes, a media and marketing company founded by Nikki <laughs> and her sister. She also hosts a radio show, so you're going to have to fill us in. Of course. But I'm loving the outfit today. Thank you so much. I'm actually wearing Mara of Africa today. Um, he is a wonderful friend of mine from Senegal, and he hooked me up, y'all. Yes, he did. Good. Good. So, Welcome, that. NK. <laughs> okay, I wanted to give you a chance to politely say hello to everyone, because yes. these two, some Sometimes it gets a little ratchet, yes. okay. and I haven't seen them in forever. Stevie, what are you doing with your life? Well, uh, right now I'm, you know, doing what I've been doing to make actual money for a couple of years now, which is uh, web programming, computer programming. Oh, so you're just trying to throw it out there like the radio you had a whole thing. Job. was more of a, a of a hobby. Oh. Um, <laughs> and uh, now that I'm away from that dumpster fire, I'm doing this full time. Ooh. He more. wants to make it so I, see. I can't ever no. do anything yeah. with him no. ever again. I know. Because okay. I still work there. Oh, okay. my <laughs> goodness. Stevie. What? <laughs> any any Stevie, other questions? You? I'm good. And you love the establishment that you work at. I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. Everyone there is so smart and awesome. Jesus. And you wonderful. see, this is why this you're great. still there. See, this is why let that you're still in the situation you're in. Let that lady do my job. Right? <laughs> All right. Let's get to this article, which is absolutely epic. Oh, wow. Chris Heath wrote a captivating article, I'll call it, on Quincy Jones for GQ. Y'all, I couldn't tear my eyes away from the page. The music legend is 84. Of course, he's worked with everyone from Michael Jackson to Aretha Franklin to Frank Sinatra. So let's get started with this article. I mm -hmm. think the number one headline that has come out of this is that Quincy Jones says he has 22 girlfriends. Yes, All get around it, the Paul world, Paul. Cape Town, Ooh. Cairo, Rio, Shanghai. And look, he says he's not a liar. He says all of these women know about each other. He also says his daughters told him that he couldn't date women younger than them anymore. They compromise his dating age ranges now 28 to 42. I think he's great. Look, you gotta have charisma to do, like he is one of music's biggest things, and he's not a person who's known for singing or playing instruments. He's a producer, which isn't something that you can audition for, like watch me produce. Yeah. You gotta be charming, you know? Yeah. He convinced Frank Sinatra and Michael Jackson, uh, two of the most talented musicians ever, yeah. to you know help produce their records. The guy's got charisma. Mm -hmm. Of course, a 28-year-old is no match. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest with you that um, I can definitely applaud his honesty yeah. because polygamy is something that um, <laughs> goes on. Sorry, she's not I'm married. Gonna, I'm gonna, I know, but I, I, I'm coming. Let I'm her getting finish, there. Stevie. I'm getting there. Ooh. Polygamy yeah. is still going on in Nigeria today, so that means you can marry more than one wife. You can have more than right. one partner, and it is okay. Yeah, I'm he fine is with coming it. out and he is saying it. It might not be very popular here in the States, but he's admitting that he's dating more than one girl. Hey, if they know, we know, we like we, it. He we loves need to draw it. a big distinction between dating 22 women and being married to 22 women. I don't see one, of them sounds, one of them sounds great, and the other sounds like. Uh, a, a nightmare to end all nightmares. <laughs> I'm all it for does sound like a nightmare. I'm all for it. As long as everybody is on the up and up, everybody yeah. knows what's going That's on. That's the only reason I'm on the slide. I think it's nasty, but listen, if everybody is honest and everybody mm -hmm. in this situation is okay, you're so move judgmental. On. I think it's nasty. Yeah, yeah she, but I'm you not. don't have to have 22 <laughs> girlfriends if you don't want to. That's right? what I'm saying. If that's what he wants to don't do, don't judge that man. I'll be his girlfriend. Quincy, where you at? I have two kids. We She's need trying money. to get. Oh my, she is selling. What Oh, you don't lead with, I have two kids. <laughs> That's two later. Kids. And she said, and we need money. You are so sad. Okay, we have like 50 other things to talk about in this okay. article. Let's talk about his current music likes. He loves Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. Bruno Mars, Drake, Ludacris, Common, Mary J. Blige, and Jennifer So Hudson. he named all the most famous people? Come <laughs> on, go out on a limb, buddy. Taylor Swift. He's just not feeling it. He said, we need more songs, not hooks. Was he fair to shade Taylor like that? Um, um, I think some people, like Stevie, consider her to be one of the greatest songwriters. Uh, okay, okay, I did not say one of the greatest songwriters. <laughs> She's one of the greatest songwriters working now, but I know exactly what Quincy Jones was doing there. It's probably exactly how he got on Thriller, saying, I'm not feeling Michael Jackson. Uh, don't stop till you get enough. We need songs, not hooks. Michael Jackson calls him, and next thing you know, he's producing Thriller. Yeah. Oh, he's we, trying to get work. No, no, he's not trying to get work. He's trying to... Uh, Spread his gene. I don't think he'd have any problem finding work. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. But you think he wants to work with Taylor Swift? 
I think if he wants to work with Taylor Swift, he will, and this may be the way to do it. Okay, yeah. NK? Uh, I, I'm not sure if he's trying to work with Taylor per se. Um, I myself, I am not really a fan of Taylor Swift because for me, her songs are just too childish for me. It's not Ooh. every day you're gonna now, see, now dump I a would guy, be judgmental. you know, you're gonna just, what, dump a guy, sing about the guy, and then all these girls are gonna come on the bandwagon and be, oh, okay, no, 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 I don't do that. I have so, to listen um, to you know, so wait, I'm so just not a friend, but I, I, everyone else he mentioned, I think, are doing really well in today's, you know, society. I would also like to maybe see him mention some more international acts. Ooh. Maybe if he talked about WizKid, DeVito, Two-Face from Nigeria. Hey, you, you what are you great. Great. Nigeria all the way. What if he hates those artists? Um, uh, believe me, you, you won't. You don't. I mean, I agree with you. I agree you with won't. you. It's real easy. Who are your f you two won't. favorites? And then you name the two people who just won at the Grammys all the awards just now. Yes. I mean, you can mm -hmm. you can jump out there a little yeah. bit. And Mary J just got a star, if I'm not uh, mistaken, on the Hollywood yeah. Uh, yeah. star. Mary J just, just got Oscar nominated. She did too, which is really good. So he, I believe, mentioned some really influential people in today's you know economy and society. All right, we got to move on. I told y'all there's a lot here. Stevie and Ray Charles. Okay, he talks about Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles. He says, <laughs> Ray Charles. Charles was the most independent blind man you could ever witness. He'd go across the lights, go to the supermarket shop, count his change with no help, but he said he would need all the help in the world when a woman was present, and he threw Stevie Wonder under the bus right with him. He says Stevie Wonder does the same thing. Hold on, which one is the one who shot heroin into his testicles? That was Ray Charles. Oh, yeah. I did yeah, he said he, he said he watched Ray Charles shoot heroin into his balls. That is a lot. This is in is the that, article. Is that the article is a lot. Steve, why are you talking <laughs> like this? I know. What I'm the one said, who said testicles. This trick comes balls, out with. She said balls. Balls. I mean, at who least. Who says that? That's like the most normal word. You're though, making yourself anybody. sound like the nasty one instead of the nasty What's one. <laughs> Honestly, that's not that nasty. That, honestly, balls sounds better than testicle. No, it's testicles is, is scientific. Balls is slang. I use the scientific actual term that doctors use. Yeah. We can hey, do, do doctors walk up to you and go, got a what? problem with his balls? No, no. <laughs> testicles is He needs here. ball surgery. On, sir, let me cup your balls. Cough. I hate you all. You, you need ball you surgery all. immediately. Okay, let me get to my favorite story. <laughs> Michael oh Jackson's gosh. monkey bit Quincy <laughs> Jones' daughter. He said, it scared me to death, man. I ain't gonna lie. And whatever the chimpanzee was. Bubbles? Yeah. He was a pain in the blank. He bit my Rashida. Poor baby. <laughs> Can we stop right here? Oh, poor baby. Whatever is behind the blank you just said yeah. is not as bad as balls. <laughs> How do you blank out that and say balls? <laughs> Look, but I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, as long as it's Michael Jackson's monkey dog, it can bite me. I'm right? Okay. Right? Listen, no listen. I way! Have, okay. I have, I, I'm, I'm right? a very big fright of animals. A very, I have like a phobia and all of that. But if it's Michael Jackson, I hold Michael Jackson very highly. Yeah. Michael His Jackson, monkey, chimpanzee can bite you. It can bite yeah. me, are, chimpanzee, are you, monkey, ip, dog. I love Michael Jackson. It doesn't matter. It's are you okay. familiar with Michael Jackson's later years? Um, I am still a fan. Oh. Long live Michael Jackson. Thank he you. is still with me. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. She is yes. banging. <laughs> <laughs> One of Michael Jackson's <laughs> not brightest moment was Are that song. such a hot mess. Oh so gosh. to wrap up things, right? I right, didn't know right. how to end this because there were 70 good stories and everyone should go read this article in GQ. Yes. Quincy Jones says he wants Donald Glover to play him in a possible 10 part TV biopic. <laughs> now, when, before reading this article, we'll be like, 10 parts is a little much. I think it needs 20 parts. I mean, now you that might need a whole part for Ray Charles putting heroin in his <laughs> balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, that could be an episode. True. Bitten by a monkey yes. episode. Yes. Stevie Wonder I trapping mean, women plain blind. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they should all, yeah, so 20 episodes. Those should all be episodes, and maybe they could kind of gloss over the fact that he did a bunch of the most classic albums. We already know that. Yeah. Yeah. These stories yeah. are what we didn't, didn't know. know. Look, him and Barry White in Secret Garden, that could be a whole episode, oh, too. Oh, that, that needs to be a whole series. <laughs> him and Barry White. Lifetime. Oh, yes. We hear a lifetime. Oh, that, was, that, was like a, that was like a Shangri La happening right there with them two. <laughs> that can was can my everyone song. gather themselves? We have to take a break. Of right. Y'all are so wild. All right, so I hate people who cheat in life, but especially in Monopoly. And now Monopoly has made a special version of the game just for the cheaters. We'll talk about it after the break.